Hello there. In this video, we are going to build a theme switch app using Flutter Hive. So we will build an app similar to this one where we will have a button and using that we will change the theme. I'm going to start from this point where we are having very minimum code, just a home page with a app bar. So let's start with pubspec.yml file. So inside the pubspec.yml file, we will add a dependency name Hive Flutter. Once we add the dependency inside the Flutter, we are ready to use it in our main application or Flutter application. We will start by importing Flutter Hive, uh, uh, Hive Flutter basically, not Flutter Hive. Okay. The first thing uh, which is needed is initialize. So we will initialize the high for flutter and it, it returns a future. So we need to add a wait before it. And whenever you add a wait, uh, the method will become a thing. So once you initialize it, after that you need to open a box. So the box will contain the data. So it's like collection or table. So we should like uh, keep the settings uh, the box name in a variable so that we can reuse it so it's a good practice at this point i'm not doing it but we should do it so now inside the body of our app on the home page we will create a switch uh, which will be responsible for changing the switch switch will hold a value so like the value currently it is not having a value but it will hold a value true or false so based on the dark theme or not so we will use value listenable builder for that and now here we will return the switch and value listenable builder basically listen to a like a, a value so whenever uh, something will be changed inside the box it will listen to it and uh, listen to it basically means whenever the box is saying that uh, something has been changed it will notify something has been changed it will rebuild or it will like call the builder again and it will build it again so box dot get and inside the get we have to say the key and the key is going to be is dark and this also takes a default value so in case if like is dark doesn't have any value in that case the default value will be returned which is false in case okay whenever the switch will be changed uh, there will be a key which is is dark and it will have like the new value which is on change so which is the value okay so whenever this will be changed it will like uh, the box is getting changed and uh, the listener will like get a notification that something has been changed to this box and it will call the builder again so let's see you see this is working without any set state because somewhere the value listenable builder is doing the same thing but like we are not doing it okay so now in order to change the theme to the dark we need to use value listenable builder here also so same thing uh, we are having material app and in the value listenable builder we will listen to the same thing which is settings that's it so now whenever there will be any change in setting this material app part will be also building again so the material app part is basically responsible for uh, making the theme dark. So here what we will do, we will take the value which is is dark and we will write here if is dark is true, make the theme as dark. That's it. So now you see if I make dark and light, it works. So this is how it works. So let's uh, go through the code again one by one and try to understand if in case if you didn't understand anything so first of all we initialize the like high for flutter after that we open a box which is settings after that this box will store the settings for like the theme which is dark or not so here we are having a value listenable builder where we are listening to the settings so whenever there will be any change in settings it will run the builder again and if the builder find that the value stored in each dark is like true it will show dark otherwise it will show light thin. so based on that this is being decided so whenever anything has been changed to the settings box like this will rebuild and theme will be changed 
here we are having like same thing value listenable builder for switch if you face any problem in understanding let me know in the comment i will love to help you